I'm Alec Divogorski and today we're going to take a tour of some of my collection because I'm sure Nelson's going to play out before we get halfway through it. Alex Debogorski is an American trucker and reality TV star. Born on the 4th of August, 1953, in Berwyn, Alberta, Canada. He's best known for being one of the stars of the reality TV series, Ice Road Truckers. Alex was born the first of five children of Irene and Stanley Debogorski. Although both his parents were born in Poland, they met in England post-World War II. His mother studied music and math at Cambridge University, while his father served in the Free Polish Brigade as a paratrooper. After the wedding in London, the couple moved to a farm in Canada where Alex was born. There's no information about Alex's younger siblings, though it's known he had to take care of them after his mother's death when he was 12 years old. His father worked two jobs at the same time, leaving his children alone for long periods. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Dad worked on the railroad and farmed, so he really had no time for watching kids because he had to watch cows and pigs and make sure the railroad kept working too. So I was in charge. He worked hard at finding a woman, but I don't know how many women would want to come live in a shack out in the bush with no running water. Alex attended the University of Alberta, though he left it after a year and never graduated. Trying to provide for himself, Alex Debogorski worked as a club bouncer, taxi driver, and other part-time jobs the first couple years after dropping out of college. His journey wasn't easy, though, as he was inexperienced in every field. People say it's hard to get a job now, and that it was so easy to get a job then. Well, it was never easy for a kid that doesn't know anything to get a job. Alex was working in a tire shop when someone looking for drivers entered the store. Although Alex had no experience at driving trucks, he offered himself and was contracted immediately, so worked as a coal mine driver for four years. In 1976, Alex moved to Yellowknife in the Northwestern Territories of Canada, working as a driver until he was able to purchase his own truck in 1980. Debogorski has talked about the importance of truck drivers and knowing mechanics, even though companies don't necessarily require drivers to know these topics as they normally provide experts to fix trucks, saying, when I'm in remote areas, being able to fix stuff has come in handy for myself as well as for others who I'm able to help out. Of course, the electronification of our equipment has made it difficult for even real mechanics to fix some things on our newer trucks. But the more one knows about his or her job, the better the job can be understood. Besides knowing how to fix their vehicles, Alex says truck drivers should have many skills, such as managing situations of stress and pressure, map reading, first aid, human relations, and even accounting. His four decades of experience have not only brought him knowledge in all of these fields, but also at some point, it led him to leave normal roads for ice-covered ones, which are deemed as very dangerous and require a level of expertise difficult to obtain for normal drivers, especially rookies. Premiered on the 17th of June, 2007, Ice Road Truckers is History Channel's documentary reality series focused on truck drivers who risk their lives traveling over ice-covered so-called roads to bring food and other essential supplies to isolated areas of Canada and Alaska. Alex Debogorski was initially contacted to participate in the show by a film crew, which had heard about his work ethic and charismatic personality through locals of the Canadian Northwestern area. Alex accepted and is one of the only members of the cast to appear in all of its seasons. Ice Road Truckers had on average 3 million viewers per episode, quickly becoming the network's most watched show. It also received good reviews from critics such as the New York Times, Virginia Heffernan, who said, Watching these guys make their runs, it's hard not to share in their cold, fatigue, and horrible highway hypnosis. That existential recognition behind the wheel, late at night, that the pull of sleep and the pull of death are one and the same. Despite the show being reality TV, some of the scenes were edited to appear more dramatic and engaging to viewers. Debogorski has declared that some scenes depict situations that didn't exactly happen as shown. Sometimes I feel like they've shown me as a real ass, but that is reality. What can I say? I try not to worry about it. I'm not running for president or anything else. It'll all come to an end one day, and I'll vanish into the dust of time. 
Alex also appeared in the series Deadliest Roads, showcasing the same cast of Ice Road Truckers, those centered on virtually impossible roads in countries of various continents such as Africa and South America. Despite the huge popularity of Ice Road Truckers, the show ended in 2017 after 11 successful seasons. For his part, Alex Debogorski is alive and still works as an Ice Road Trucker. After the end of the series, he has kept himself active on social media, especially on Facebook, on which he keeps his fans informed of his activities and work. Most recently in July 2020, he posted about his return to trucking. I'm on the road again, on my way to Berwyn with my car carrier. I have an old 1929 tractor, a Canadian Ford Mercury pickup, and one other. I'll drop that trailer and, and hook up to my drop deck and carry on to Edmonton to pick up siding for my shop. Back to Yellowknife, unload and start putting my shop back together. The two weeks quarantine is not a problem, as I have so much work to do at both my yards, I would not see anyone for weeks. In his personal life, 1972, and while still attending college, Alex married Louise. The couple have welcomed 11 children in total and are apparently still happily wed after five decades of marriage. To date, Alex and Louise are grandparents of 13 kids, though their total goal is to have 90 grandchildren, as Alex revealed in an interview. We have 13 grandchildren already, and everybody keeps busy working on more, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get there. The bottom line is, life is short, so I wonder, what are we doing this all for? I figure it's children. Even though I don't particularly like children because they're the reason I'm broke, Alex's son, Andrew Debogorski, died in 2019 when caught in a fire that broke out in his yellow knife house. In 2017, Andrew had been diagnosed with ASL, Lou Gehrig's disease, a condition that made him unable to walk or sleep. Despite his condition, Andrew could speak through a machine connected as a cursor to his head. In the midst of the devastating event, Andrew warned his wife to save their kids first, once outside of the house and with their children safe, his wife Miriam informed authorities that Andrew was still inside the building. However, it was too late for him to be saved, and he was declared dead after being transported to Stanton Territorial Hospital. The community raised funds to help Andrew's family, collecting $26,000 in total and a huge number of physical donations. Alex Debogorski shows himself very touched by the support received. We're in this together, and a lot of people understand better than I do They've suffered this numerous times. Alex Debogorski has an estimated net worth of close to $700,000 as a result of his work as a truck driver along with his earnings for appearing in Ice Road Truckers and from an autobiographical book entitled King of the Road, True Tales from a Legendary Ice Road Trucker, published in 2010. Alex is a man of white ethnicity. There's no information about his current weight and height. Alex Debogorski is a devoted Catholic and considers himself as a family-oriented man. Although there's no information about his current health, he has adopted a healthy lifestyle in recent years. Despite his fame, Alex has shown a dignified attitude regarding his career. You see trucks jackknife in the snow and accidents that were probably unpreventable? There are plenty of better drivers out there than me, but I know enough to respect the weather and listen to the ice. I feel good. I think one of the biggest challenges just about in any job that has a need for some expertise is having faith in oneself. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.